In this video, I'll show you how to convert SRT subtitles or captions to graphics in Adobe Premiere Pro 23.1 and beyond. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, this is a highly welcome move because of the following few reasons. It's possible to add effects to the captions once you convert them to graphics and you can also add uh, transitions to your subtitles once you convert them to graphics. It's also possible to add keyframes. So you can make any kind of animations that you want to your subtitles once you convert them to graphics. So let me show you how you do it. So I already have Premiere Pro open. I'll just look for a video and corresponding subtitles. Just drag and drop right inside there. And then we can just uh, create a quick sequence here. Just drag and drop it there. And we already have a sequence. Next up, let's just drag and drop already timed SRT subtitle. Just drag and drop it right there. And you're going to get this new prompt, new caption track. What format do you want? It's a subtitle and I uh, won't change anything else here, but the start point is the source time code because this particular subtitle has already been timed. Click OK. And your subtitles are going to populate right inside there. So the first thing I, I like to do is just Control A once I click inside uh, the caption struck here. And then once we get this uh, pulled up, I change the font size slightly because the subtitles are a little bit tiny right here. Just extend that slightly so you, that you can see the subtitles and how they look like. That's the first step. Now, the second step is to convert our subtitles to graphics. Now, you can convert a single block, for example, this particular block right here you can convert just this particular block. So what you need to do is click on it and it's going to be selected and you'll see it selected right inside here and right inside here. Next up, go up to graphics and titles and then click upgrade caption to graphic. Click on that. And once you do, this particular subtitle that was up here is going to be brought down to the layer below or the track below. And this now is a graphic. You can add effects, transitions, etc. So let's see uh, what we can do with this. So we can go to the effects. And let's say you wanted to add maybe something like a gradient. Let's add this four color gradient. Just drag and drop it there. And you can now make any edits to this. By the way, you can edit the graphic elements. Actually, if I click on this, it opens up now inside the graphics. And if you double click inside here, Let's actually just pull this slightly. If you just double click inside here, you can make any edits to this text. And if you also double click inside the program window, you can activate the option to edit the text. Now, we have that uh, right inside here, the text with some gradient and so on. You can also click on effects controls if you want to change uh, the different uh, texts uh, or the colors or whatever that is available for this. Uh, looks good. You can change it to whatever you want it to look like. But it's really, really awesome to be able to do this right inside Adobe Premiere Pro. Next up, let's say we want to add maybe a transition. Uh, let's say, let's say we do maybe something like a zoom. Let's do a zoom. Cross zoom. Let's see if it's applicable. Yes, it is. And then we can just pull this slightly and then play our video and see how the subtitles will pop in. With the recent update on the YouTube. Yep. They've zoomed into this particular section. So if you're going for that kind of look and feel, then upgrading your captions to graphics is the best way to do that. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to press on Control Z to undo all the changes that I've made. And then we have our subtitles back right inside here. So uh, what we are going to do now is we're going to convert the whole track because you can also convert the whole track to captions. Just one thing you need to note is that you cannot export the graphic captions or subtitles once you convert them as SRT. So ensure that you always duplicate your layer or whatever so that you can always export as an SRT and then you may need to hide the track uh, if you don't want it included. So I'll just select this and then go to graphics and titles, 
upgrade caption to graphics and all these files are going to be brought down here and it's really really awesome because now if you wanted to add maybe like the gradient uh, that we just did you can just drag and drop uh, whatever you want uh, maybe work with uh, all these playlist and make and different the options for every subtitle that you're going to have so now this 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 is different this is different and so on and so forth so that is how you can upgrade your captions to graphics or simply convert your srt subtitles and captions to graphics in adobe premiere pro version 23.1 and beyond i hope this video is of value to you go out there and be creative thank you so much for watching